Hello, so this is the third of three videos on custom states. Here, states are used to store things or lists of things. Things being anything from the database, such as users, items, orders, lists of orders, etc. So using these states, you can save data to use later or control an element's data source. Let's see this in action. Here I've got a repeating group of orders, Christmas, Easter, and New Year order. And each order is associated with a merchant, such as the green, red, and blue merchant. If I click Edit Order Items, I see the items of this order. And I can see their names in an input and can update the names. If I click Update, I want to update, of course, the item, but also inform the merchant and perhaps add the merchant's number to a list of numbers I want to call immediately. I click Update. This also changes the pop-up to have email has been sent here and finish. And this adds the green merchant in this case and the number here for me to call. So how do I set this up? To start off with, I've got here my repeating group of orders, just a search for orders with the current sales orders name and the merchant of that order. Then the button, edit order items. This button sets the states to use in the pop-up and shows the pop-up. The pop-up has as its data source the state order. So how do I create the state? I clicked on I and created a state order called orders and state merchant type merchant and merchants to phone which is a list of merchants. So now in this pop-up I have the repeating group. I can now reference the pop-up the order of the pop-up and see the list of items in it. And when I click the button update, I can update the merchant and the items. Let's quickly look at the workflows. So edit order items is where I set a state of the pop-up to control the order, to be the current sales order. Then also I control the merchant to be the current sales orders merchant. And I show the pop-up orders. So now, in the pop-up, if I go on the update button, what do I do? I make changes, of course, to the item to update the name. But now I make a change to the state, so to the merchant I've saved. For example, I can increase the edits done to this merchant's edits done plus one. This is not possible with uh, things to change current sales item because the item does not have the merchant saved. This is why I needed this state. I've got the state here. Also using the state, I can send an email to the merchant state's email. And then I can empty the state, merchant in order. And also I can add the merchant who I just changed to be in the list of merchants of the pop-up so I can then see him here in this repeating group showing the list of merchants state. Also in the pop-up we've got edit order items which is a te uh, text and this text whenever the state order is emptied by the button update we change the text to email has been sent and the finish button is also only shown once I empty the state. So let's see that in action and step by step again. So I'm going on step by step mode. We see here if I click ESA order red merchant, I update the order to the ESA order as I see, the merchant to the red merchant as we see here, and I show the pop up. Then I see the pop-up, I can change, for example, trousers to shorts, if it's summer, just an example. I click update. Now, of course, I change the item to be called shorts, but also the merchant, whom I've saved to be the red merchant, I can increase his edits done or her edits done from two to one to be overall three. I can send an email. Here we've also got the email of the merchant who is associated with the user. I now empty the two states and I update my list of merchants to 
be plus item the red merchant who I just had changed. So now I click on run next and I click on email has been sent on finish to close my pop-up and to see the red merchant whom I can now contact. So hope this helps. For more tips on how to use custom states, check out our site tiplesset.com. Cheers.